says that 15x plus 9y equals to minus 3. I actually think that that's correct because he took this entire equation, this 5x plus 3y equals to minus 1, and he multiplied each of the variables by 3. Let me show you how. The teacher gave Elsa and Ola a system of linear equations. So these are two linear equations. And so uh, Elsa and Ola took a few steps to try to get two equations that were equivalent to the teacher's equation. So uh, the, we have to figure out that uh, who is correct. So we are basically the judge. Okay. So now let's figure it out. Well, Elsa said that for x, she found out that 4x minus 9y equals 8, which is actually correct because that is the exact same thing as one equation that the teacher actually gave both of them, 4x minus 9y equals to 8. So uh, these are the same. So Elsa's first equation is correct. If we all to that. Now, 9x minus 6y is equal to 7. She didn't give that, but though, it's still equivalent. Why? Because if you actually add both of these equations, then you'll find that it's actually equivalent to this. Let me show you how. 5x plus 4x, which is definitely 9x, right? So here, let's do 3y, and then we're doing plus minus 9y. That means 3y minus 9y, which means it would be minus 6y. That's exactly what Elsa got, right? So Elsa has matched with her first equation and also her x and y for her second equation. Now, minus 1 minus 8 is definitely 7, right? So that means Elsa's second equation was also 2. So Elsa, the two uh, linear equations, the, the simultaneous linear equations that Elsa got is equivalent to the teacher's equation. Now let's check for Ola. Ola, let's see. He says that 15x plus 9y equals to minus 3. I actually think that that's correct because he took this entire equation, this 5x plus 3y equals to minus 1, and he multiplied each of the variables by 3. Let me show you how. So 5x times 3 is 15x because 5 times uh, 3 is 15, of course. 3y times 3 is 9y, because 3 times 3 is 9, so definitely yeah. And minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. So, uh, so that is how Olaf is also correct with his first equation. Let's check for the last equation that he got. Uh, 4x minus 9y equals to minus 5. Until this part, uh, the parts for the left side, he was correct. 4x minus 9y, yes. But that's equals to 8, not minus 5. Even Elsa got that correct. But he did not get that correct. Well, so that means that Elsa actually got both of the, uh, the linear equations correct. And he she was able to make it equivalent to the teacher's one. But Olaf was not able to. So I hope you all understood that how we can figure out an equivalent system. And how we can uh, figure out that if they're equivalent from the system's of uh, these equations and I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you and assalamu alaikum.